Well, as you saw, there it is National Puppy Day. Not the best day to take the dog for a walk out there, though, with these sprinkles that we saw moving through. We're continuing to see just a little bit of those isolated showers across East Central Illinois right now. And as we take a wider view, we see a little bit of a clearing back to our southwest, but that's not going to last long. As for our temperatures, well, we're in the mid to upper 40s and even just a few 50s across East Central Illinois right now. But they're going to be on the climb as we go through the overnight hours, and that's because of strong southerly winds that are bringing warmer air into the region. We've got a warm front that's going to push through. And as I show you that on future cast, you'll see uh, the warmer air back behind this warm front as it is pushing through ahead of a system making its way to the east that will bring us some more chances of rain and even thunderstorms going into the weekend that pushes through overnight. Take a look at those temperatures in the hour by hour future cast and how they warm up into the 50s going into the overnight hours and early morning hours of your Friday. So things continuing to warm up. Here's how it looks this evening. We'll get to Probably 50 degrees right around midnight is what I'm expecting as we, of course, continue to warm up with the skies continuing to be partly cloudy. As for your bus stop forecast for tomorrow, getting the kids out to school, well, temperatures will be warmer right around 53. I think is where we'll be at by the time we get into tomorrow morning. They'll fluctuate just a little bit temperatures, but we're going to continue to, for the most part, climb things up going through the overnight hours and into the early morning hours. We're going to get very warm by the time we get into the afternoon hours tomorrow. I want to show you on Futurecast the southerly wind moving in and that's going to continue to bring that warmer air up into our region, but we're going to call it partly cloudy for Friday. You saw a little bit of that clearing early, but things starting to cloud back up later on. We've got this system that is making its way into our region and as we advance future cast, you'll continue to see that moving on through. So here comes that line of showers and storms late Friday when we'll likely see that during the afternoon hours wouldn't roll out a chance of a shower or two, but again, the greatest chance of that into the evening. So if you've got Friday evening plans, make sure to have the umbrella probably going to hear some rumbles of thunder, maybe see a tad bit of lightning. So try to make indoor plans for Friday, although we'll have the warm temperatures still going to have that rain moving through throughout the evening. So here's what the breakdown looks for Friday as we take a look at those temperatures throughout the workday. Well, we're going to continue to warm things up. Probably going to reach that 70 degree mark. A lot of the viewing area going to reach that. Mattoon and Charleston, I think Coles County area definitely going to hit that 70 degree mark, maybe even a little warmer to the south. By the time we get to the evening, we're still staying a little bit warm with those temperatures continuing to rise. As we roll through future cast going through Saturday, you see this system as it moves in. We've got a cold front and that moves through. We've got a little bit cooler air back behind that. So once that gets through the system on Saturday, going to kind of stall over us, lose a little bit of its energy. So the chances for shower and thunderstorms will kind of start to decrease as the day goes along. But again, that system pushes through and temperatures do drop down just a little bit. So here's what the weekend outlook looks like. Temperatures on Saturday almost reaching that 70 degree mark again with those thunderstorms possible. Then Sunday cooling down just a little bit, but we've kind of got a one two punch here with this system because we've got another one that's going to move through as we go through your uh, latter part of the weekend and into the first part of the week. We've got another system that will make its way through and cause possible showers and thunderstorms again to start off the week.